Good afternoon, everyone. How are you all? I've just been watching you all. No sound, no sound. Don't panic. We're on it. I hope you've all got sound and you can all hear me now. Yep, sound. Saying it's a little bit quiet, but I think it's just going to come through. Just turn me up or even mute me. You know, sometimes I can talk. Welcome to the studio, everybody. I hope you're all time. My name is Tony Darrick and I'm a guest presenter on Creating Craft and I'll have anything to do with creating something with the hands as you do at home. And that's why you tune in every single day. If you are new to YouTube, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. This allows you to get all the notifications when we are live in studio. And it also gives you the bell notifications when we have something to tell you about or something new or a quick pick video. So you've always got that inspiration, whether it be from me, Claire, Carly, Simon's coming soon too. So that's all exciting as well. If you are on Facebook, I do post a picture of the make. So if you want to pop a comment underneath, that would be grateful. And maybe pop a comment under the live video when we're finished off air. Let me know your thoughts on how... Um, you felt the video was gone and did I inspire you in any way and are you going to take it away with you and do your own thing so good afternoon everyone I'm just getting a little bit of feedback Tim I'm not sure where that's coming from Tim is in Tim is in charge today um, he has one day off for his birthday yesterday but not today so thank you Lillian for Tim's birthday messages too he's very grateful to everybody who wished him birthday he's, he's managed to survive another year so let's hope he survives another one, hey? <laughs> so hello, Tracy, Valerie, Enid, Jan, Viv, Brian, Elizabeth, Phil. There are lots of you on today. Lovely to see you all. Isn't the weather cold? I had my body warmer on right up until the moment of going live. I had to take it off because it didn't look like I was staying. <laughs> I had to take it off. So it looks like you've all got your lovely goodies, which is incredible too, from the live show. So I hope you're enjoying playing with those. So I'm just going to go through a couple of things I have a little list here so I have already thanked lovely Lillian I've spoken to her on the phone we had a lovely conversation today so thank you Lillian and I have passed your message on to Tim for his birthday message so thank you everyone it's all super kind you know when you start to get to these sort of ages people forget don't they but um, he had um, lots of messages yesterday it cheered him right up so also I'd like to say hi to the lovely Sammy Sammy's new to our studio today 10 years of age a little crafter in the making with Aaron the crafting together this afternoon so hi Sammy I've been told that you are blending better than Aaron is so keep it up sweeter and I can't wait to see your lovely cards that you make and don't forget to post them on the Eureka fan page because the ladies would love and gents would love to see what you're making so welcome to the studio darling also what else have I got to tell you we now have a fabulous pretty penny page so if you haven't been on Facebook today, the page has gone live today and there's going to be lots of inspiration in there for you from our lovely design team. Sandra is going to be running the actual page for you. So if you have any questions or anything to do with Pretty Penny, you can either speak to me or Sandra and Sandra is going to be posting lots of finished samples of all the good stuff that Pretty Penny have brought to you for the last, I think it's nearly a year. Do you know that? How fab is that? So um, if you can go over Facebook, click that like button, maybe you can get some inspiration from Sandra and the lovely design team too. So that's that. So what have we got to talk about? We've got to talk about the lovely challenge, haven't we? The craft challenge from Saturdays that we do. Last week I went on and there was about 150. This week I've been on, there's about 250. <laughs> Incredible guys. Thank you so much if you did get involved. It costs nothing to get involved. It's just to take your mind off what's going on in the current world, you know, and maybe step out your comfort zone. So what we do is we email you two sort of makes with step-by-steps that Karen's done off our lovely design team. And then we ask you to either replicate it in your own colours, do exactly the same. If you don't have those products, it doesn't matter. You can use anybody's products. Just put your mind into action with what's in front of you. Post your make. And what I do is I pick a couple of cards, one, two of cards that have inspired me so last week I picked two and those lovely ladies were very grateful that they got a mention in studio which is no problem at all but the cards really really were good and they did inspire me so I have two more for you today so I have been through and I have looked at them all 
it's not a competition please don't feel like we've done it because it's a competition and somebody's better than somebody else because that's not the case and we've never been like that stamps by me i really do want you to get involved whether you're a beginner an advanced crafter it's about getting together and inspiring each other even if you don't think you're good enough there'll be somebody behind you who thinks they're not good enough as well it's lot, sort of like this vicious circle isn't it so please do post your makes because we love to see what everybody is doing and I don't pick the makes because they are the best. I pick the make because it's inspired me in some way and I'll talk through why. So let me just log into the iPad here and I have two today that I just want to quickly go over before we get into our um, demos. because we've got some lovely demos for you too. So the first card is by a lovely lady. I'm not sure if she's watching. I have not sure if I've seen her name, but if she hasn't, please PM her and let her know she's been had a mention in the live studio. So we have Justine Bryan and it's this lovely card here. So I'm just going to hold it in so Tim can get a lovely, lovely pic. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? What talk about colour, Justine. And the reason I like this is, well, this is our lamination butterflies. Again, if you don't have the um, products, you will have a butterfly in your stash to still get involved. So we have the butterflies, but the great thing that I like about this is, can you see the colour that's dripping down here? And then you have gold on top as well dripping down. I don't know if you can see that with the light. It's sort of like two-tone. It's really, really pretty. And it looks like a waterfall. It's incredible. So well done, Justine. And I will post a picture of your make after the show to let everybody know that you have inspired me this week. So well done, sweetheart. I absolutely loved that. And the second one is Jane Davison. And it's this one. Again, another bright and breezy card. Look at that. Look at that. So there we go, you can see, I've picked this for many reasons. For one, it looks like the watering can is tipping the colour down the page. It's incredible. One of my favourite sentiments, you're a whole lot of lovely, yes you are. So I love that one. And the stencil work in the background looks, I'm not sure if I'm wrong and I'm sure somebody will let me know, it looks like we have a stencil, the stencil background of ours with gold texture paste through there. So you can see the dripping of the colour, bright and breezy, and the water, and the flowers as well from our Soulful collection. It looks absolutely gorgeous, and it looks like the colour's been tipped from the watering can. So I absolutely love that one. So well done, Jane, and I will post your picture after studio to um, thank you for inspiring me this week. And I hope these two cards have inspired you at home as well, so you can get involved in some colour. Don't forget, we will be posting another challenge on Saturday with two more pictures to show you what's going on and then you can get involved if you want to um, and I can't wait I sit I do sit at home with my son my son's at the side of me he's doing his thing and I'm looking through all the lovely makes so they don't go unnoticed I might not be able to comment on them all but they are all all lovely so well done everybody so let's talk let's craft I know that's why you've all come so hello Angela Susan Sarah Julie Jenny Kathy Christine Jackie Susan, it goes, to, it goes too quick and my eyes are honestly not the best at the moment. <laughs> Chris, Enid, hi Enid. So let's just show you what I'm going to use in studio today. So you, if you have signed up to our newsletter, you will have seen the products. We always let you know in plenty of time, just in case you do want to craft along. But I'm going to be using th these two lovely products here today. So revisiting some of our earlier products. So if you have both of them, that's incredible. If you don't, I'm going to show you if you can work with one or the other or if you have a stamp, it will work with a die and vice versa, okay? So there are no rules with these two. I'm going to um, show you how to get the most out of them both. If you don't have our products, you might have something similar, okay? So please don't worry about it. I'm also going to chuck in this little script background as well because it was a last minute decision. All of the products are available on our website. Just pop FBL into the search engine and hopefully you'll be able to find them there. If you can't, they're under the actual products. But as always, please don't switch off if you don't have the products because we don't expect you to have the products. I'm launching products nearly every week now, so come for the inspiration, if nothing else, and to come and chat with these this lovely lot on here because the conversation is amazing. I could stand and watch it all day. If they're not talking about the weather, they're talking about popping to the doctors or uncles, aunties, sisters. It's brilliant. It's, it's better than watching soaps. <laughs> 
Right, so let's crack on. So first of all, I'm going to show you how the dies cut. So I've picked a selection of the dies from the die set. So I'll just grab these. I'll just grab some white cardstock and I'm going to grab my cutting plates, which are here. So is there anything else I need to tell you about? I just get too excited um, and forget things. That's why I have a little look at this. I forgot my notebook today, so I'm writing on some scrap paper. You know, professional as always. Let's put my sleeves up. Let's get ready. So let's pop these lovely silhouettes. So I've picked a variation of them, and I'm just going to run them through on this white cardstock. Now, if you have got these brilliant, you'll be able to probably replicate what I'm going to do today. If you haven't, have a look in your stash. Foliage dies would work. Silhouette stamps would work. So um, have a look what you've got. So let's run these through. So what else do I need to tell you about? Lovely Claire's on tomorrow. I've been texting Claire this morning. She's on tomorrow. 1.30 for a double show. And she's got those lovely birds with the coordinating stencils, which is all a bit new and a bit exciting. So don't forget to tune in for that tomorrow if you're a little bit at a loss, because I know some of you are still at home uh, having to stay in, which is great, isn't it? Um, I'm getting a list of things to tell you all about now. So Carly's also on YouTube with a pre-record at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning as well. So there's lots of inspiration for you. Even if it's not with me, somebody is here to inspire you, which is great, isn't it? And as always, it's on YouTube. It never goes away. So you can always catch the inspiration after your tea or if you're an early bird up at 6 o'clock, you can catch it then, can't you? So Carly, yeah, don't forget to click the HD button. That gives you a better viewing experience as well. Because sometimes it do, you do get a few sort of like, not lags as such, but a few buffering issues maybe. So I'm just going to take these off my mat here. Just pop out all of these pieces. So they give a lovely sort of silhouette design. Can we see those there? I've just picked a few of the designs, but you can see from the packaging... You get all of these designs, so you can colour them with your alcohol markers or watercolour pens, pencils, things like that. But they're really, really lovely. And I do like to visit our earlier products because with that fast-paced now at Stamps by Me, I, there's just so much more I want to show you. And that's the great thing about YouTube, isn't it? We've always got more time to show you more things. So, there we go. So let's grab my lovely card blank. Oops, chucking it away now. So here I have a um, piece of white card stock here and I have a white top folding note card. I'm not sure where this card's going. It's in here again. Um, but I have a vision. Sometimes a vision works, sometimes it doesn't, as you all know. But I do have a vision. So first of all, I'm going to use this white cardstock, and I have lots of um, inks here. So I'll just pop them on here so you can see what's going on. I've got my oxides today, something different, but I also have as a backup my everyday inks too, just in case, you know, this falls by the wayside and we have to get a bit, do a backup plan. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to create myself a pretty background with this. And I'm going to use the fabulous background two stamp which is the script okay so you've seen the script before um it's a massive a5 um, stamp on there as well so you can create pretty backgrounds with these two so move these out of the way. so i think for this card i'm going to go um black soot and warm lipstick in the distress now i have already done a background in a different color and i'll show you how i wanted it to look hopefully this will turn out nice so first of all, I'm going to pop some of this Distress Oxide here onto my mat. Like so. I'm just going to grab some tissue. And I'm just going to spritz it with some water to create a bit of a puddle. Then what I'm going to do, I'll just pop that in the mouth of my... That's a good storage place, isn't it? So I've just done that there. And I'm going to take the piece of white cardstock and I'm going to pop it in the centre here. Can we see? So I've arched my cardstock here. I'm just going to pop it in the centre, 
hold it up at the sides and dip it into that ink and I'm just going to give the cardstock the opportunity to drink that colourful pink ink and then hopefully I'll end up with a line. Can we see that there? It does need to be a bit fatter though so let's get, I want like a colour down the centre, hopefully. There we go, that's a little bit better. But I do want it to be light and I'm sorry if it's not showing very well on set but I want it to be light. So I'm just going to pick up the rest of that colour down this side a little bit. Try and not waste my ink. There we go. So let's clean that one off. Pink and grey we're going for today. Pink and grey. So I have the black sort of here. I'm just going to set that aside and I'm just going to pop some black onto my mat here. Not a lot because I don't want it to be too dark if possible. I'm just going to mop a little bit of that colour up because I think it might ruin my project. So I'm just going to drag it up, look. There we go. So let's dip it in this time. So again, in exactly the same position, pop it on an arch. And I'm just going to rock it into that colour. Oh, there we go, look at that. Can we see that there? How cool is that? Do I? So I'm asked, being asked, there we go. Look at that, that's cool, isn't it? So I'm being asked, do you have the cards and envelopes? We do, I believe they're on the web. So I'm just going to take that grey right up to the top. So we have that pretty design, like the grey line all the way through. Can we see that there? So I like that, so I'm going to leave it be. I'm not going to frustrate it and make it worse. So let's just dry this design off at the back. get my tissue and just mop up that little blob there I'm just trying to get as much moisture as I can out of that card because it will help a little bit with my project So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my lovely script stamp. So it's a super huge one. The oxides are on the website, yes, I believe so. Under inks. So I popped my script stamp onto my mat. You can see it's a super huge one. It fills both literally is huge but what I'm going to do is I'm just wanting some texture on the back of my project so I'm going to leave it on its carrier sheet okay I don't think the script is readable so it really doesn't matter if you have it this way or this way so I'm just going to go here but I do or would like it if I can get the script straight on my project you can see it's designed on an angle but I want it to be straight so I'm just going to tilt it over slightly so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take black soot distress oxide and I'm just going to ink up the centre just with that oxide there but what I'm going to do is because I don't want it to have a harsh like line down there and down there I'm just going to take my tissue and I'm just going to soften around those edges just take away that ink so it doesn't give me like a line down my project and then all I'm going to do put the writing straight is I'm just going to take my project pop it in the centre and I'm just going to push so I can get that design onto my cardstock and then you end up with this design look. Can we see that there? Really, really pretty. Now that's with the Distress Oxide, okay, so you've got that detail in there. I am trying to create uh, a design down the centre and it's looking like it's working so far. <laughs> so I'm pleased with that one. So let's just get rid of this script stamp. But this script stamp is one that you'll use all the time always in our, in our backgrounds, really, really usable. So let's just dry that one off to prevent any mucky paw prints. Oh, 
Oh, I'm being told there's not in it, they're not on the web. They must have sold out, unfortunately. I'll let you know when we get them back, though. Right, so let's use our lovely, lovely elements, okay? What we need to do now is we need to create sort of, this is a great thing about having the stamps and the dies if you do have both, but don't worry if you haven't, it can work equally as beautiful just with the dies as well. So I'm just going to take the um, stamp and you can see they're all silhouettes on there, so you've got different formations, you've got tall and thin, chunky and wide, delicate and low, slim and long, so all variations of sort of designs on there. And I'm just going to grab my Eureka and I always can never find anything when Claire's beat me in my studio. She's getting the blame today. She's not here so it's, she can't beat me up. <laughs> so, let's be a little bit creative. Now, at the end of the day, if you get to this stage, and you're not quite sure, try and stick with it till the very end because you never know by the time you get to the end of it you might actually like it. Don't always see it through to the very end because at the moment you're thinking, oh, get rid of it, it's not any good. But as soon as we start to build on it, um, they do look really, really lovely. So first of all, let's take some of these designs. Now it's decisions, decisions. I don't think there are any rules. Um, Let's go this nice and chunky one here. So I'm just going to pop this down. Because I've done that colour formation down the centre, if we pop this on here, if you pop it in the centre, it's going to get lost a little bit, isn't it? The whole point of the design is to catch half of it on the white and half of it on the colour, OK? So we're just creating our own pretty background, in a sense. So I'm just going to push that up, pull this in. Just going to pick up that stamp. Now let me just clean it a bit because it doesn't look like I've cleaned it from last time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and keep the pack back all colourful. So I'm going to go back to our Distress Oxide and I'm going to use the pink that's already in the background and I'm going to use the green. Now this is just a backdrop, it's not the focal point of our card. So I'm going to pop the green onto, I'll just move this over sorry, I'm going to pop the green onto the leaves. like so and then I'm going to pop the pink on the tops now because I'm using oxide it does react a little bit different to water to your traditional um, oxide so just bear that in mind you are going to get a different look and maybe if you do it this way and you don't like it with the oxide swap it out for your distress ink and try it again because you might get a different result so I'm just going to spray this with a bit of water Okay, so this is just building our background. Give it a good push down. And I hope, because I'm only using cheap cardstock, I always like to give the card opportunity to drink that ink. You can see now we've got this beautiful light watercolour finish going through there. So let's just take this one off here. Just going to dry it off because if I come to use it again, it'll drop off my door. And let's swap it out for another one. Just clean my door. So let's swap out the design for a different one. So you can see you get that beautiful wash. Not wash as such. It looks really, really pretty, doesn't it? And that's why I do the, the script stamp first. So the colour sits on top of the script, if that makes sense. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick another design. Just to finish this corner, I think I'll go here with this solid one. So I've got my design all, across, all up the left here. Can we see that there? All up the left of our lovely picture here. So let's go green again on the bottom. And pink again. I'm 
going to spray too much. I don't want it to drop off my door. They have a habit of doing that, don't they? So I just press that design down. And hopefully we'll have a pretty design going up the left-hand side of our card. There we go. Can you see that? It looks like it's starting to look like a pretty piece of paper. <laughs> that was not my intention. So let's pop this onto here, look. Pop them back where they belong. So let's just dry this one off. So this is where you start to have fun really so before I do anything else now let's just move this out of the way I'm gonna need it again because I'm gonna have to do my sentiment but let's just have some fun so ahead of time what I did was I cut some of the pretty embellishments and I sort of used my distress tool just like so like this with the colors on the ends and the green and things like that so you can see you can color them up and you could basically I'll just show you another one here. So here's a top folding note card. If you just colour these designs up as a singular form, like so, you can pop them onto the corner of a white card and create the most gorgeous sort of clusters of flowers. Twine bow, which is what we're going to use. Just down the side of a card and a stamped sentiment here, and they look incredible. So if you are a clean and simple person, and not necessarily a bit of a messy sort of person and there are it, it sort of gives twofold in that sense so i just wanted to show you that so i have already just cut those ones in white haven't i so let's just get the ones in white so you can see instantly if you start popping a white bundle onto here like so it sort of comes off the page because of what's behind but if you take a black one and a white one and lay the white one on top of the black just so you get that drop, pretty drop shadow and then you start to build them up. Can you see there? How you get that lovely, lovely design. First of all though, I'm gonna stamp my sentiment. So I've got these two lovely stamp sets here which we've recently launched. Probably all of you have got them. I know what all of you are like. Um, uh, so I've got sort of really big, you couldn't be more awesome. And it's that's the one that I'm gonna use is this, you couldn't be more awesome. Because it's gonna stamp beautifully in this corner. And the great thing about this set, stamp set is the open spaces within the sentiment. So you can get in with your pens and colour them up, add your glitter, add your sparkle, if you want to. So here we go. Can we see how big it is? I'm going to just heighten it a little bit and pull it in just a little bit because my cluster of die cuts are going to go on the left here. And we'll do this in black. This is a card in itself really, isn't it? I mean, you don't have to add the die cuts if you don't want to. Can you see that there? I'll just go over it again, see if I can get it to pop. There we go. Doesn't actually look straight, but I think it is. My eyes are bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's colour up our lovely die cuts. So we've got a totally 
oxide background, haven't we? So what we're going to do on the foreground is um, distress ink. So they'll pop. So I'm going to use a bright pink and we'll go for evergreen bow. And then this is going to make our die cut jump off the page because it's a different type of ink. So I'm just going to use my blending tool. Make sure it's clean. I'll use the green first. So we'll go on the leaves with the green. Just move that out a little bit so I can get that green on there. The great thing about using your tools is it doesn't give a very even coverage, which is what I like, because when you come to pop it on your artwork, it stands out from the page. Does that make sense? So let's go do all the green pieces first. Be um, a little bit more careful on your delicate pieces here though. Make sure you hold them in the right place or else they, they will tear it is on the card. And then next green. And then the next little one. Now I'm, I don't know if I'm going to use them all. I might even just use one. I'm not sure yet, but because I'm on the go. Oh, <laughs> if you're making one card, make two, remember. So let's just um, space those out. And then let's use the pink. Just clean this off. Okay, that lovely pink on there. Okay, see how bright that is? It looks really, really cool. So they're all being pink today, but you know, purples, pinks, oranges, yellows, you could do anything you wanted to really. So we can see how pretty they look and I haven't been very careful with them. Just literally swiped that color on and I've got that instant, instant dimension. So where's my lovely twine? So here I have some lovely twine. I'm just going to create myself a pretty bow. So I'll just and I like the long legs on. Oh, I just grabbed my scissors. I like the long legs on my bows, but it's personal preference, I guess. And I'm just going to do one more. got two going on we'll see how it goes so now let's just have some fun and just be creative so just like a blue peter here is one I did in different color ways so I've got two going on here can we see there so a blue and a yellowy tone a pink and a gray tone shall we get this one onto our card and then we can have a play at how this is going to look so let's pop some tape behind here And what I've done is I've mounted it straight onto my top folding note card because I do like the white on white. But again, gold mirror, black, it would look equally as beautiful. See how different it looks as soon as you pop it onto a card blank. Just um, pop a piece of white card on there just to um, flatten it out without my mucky paws. So which one do you like the best guys? Do we like the blue and sort of green yellowy colour or do we like the pink and grey? Which one do we like? 
I'll show you. I'll do a grand reveal in a second. <laughs> what do, which one do we think? Hmm. I can't know. This one hasn't got uh, anything in the background yet, but I'm soon about to sort that out. So you decide, which do you like? So let's create our lovely design. So on the back of here, let me just decide which one. Let's go. The tall one. But on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to keep it black. Okay, totally, totally black. And it's going to create that sort of silhouette look. So for anybody who's just joined us who's, wing, who's thinking, how's that being done, the background and things like that, go back and watch. I didn't actually do the blue one live. Pink and grey both. I like the pink and grey prefer the blue. Just shows you how different we all are as individuals, doesn't it, hey? So I'm going to go completely black. Shall we go black distress? Let's go black distress, see what it looks like. If it doesn't look very good, I will come go over it with a normal black count because we've got our Eureka. Do we think that looks pretty? I'm not going to do anything else to that one. I actually quite like it as a silhouette like so. So let's just pick a lovely sentiment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sentiment from the other set. So I haven't got same sentiments on both. But you will have lots of sentiments at home that you can, you can use. So let's see what this looks like in blue. Oops, chucking it away, sorry. Sorry about that noise. So I'm gonna go blue. And see, just to change our design a little bit, because normally we do do black. I think that looks particular. I like the blue. Do you like the blue or shall I go over in black? <laughs> Before I move it. <laughs> I, I think you're liking the blue. Leave it then. Let's leave it. You guys are in charge. So let's set that aside. Got that many stamp sets on the go here. let's be creative with this one let's bring our lovely designs here so I have some black ones which are on the black when you're cutting these cut them all at the same time so you know if you do want to do a cluster if you need to do a drop shadow with black if you need to do a drop shadow with white if you can see I've got it all going on here I've pre-cut them and what I normally do is if I cut too many I pop them back in the envelope the die cut envelope so when I come to get them out next time I'm thinking oh I've got I've got some already cut there which is good so I'm going to create see what works so I've got several different ones here I've got an orange one look can we see that here 
So now we're just going to create a pretty, pretty bouquet. Don't forget as well, you can chop into the design. So if you just want a leaf to pop out the top, you can just cut that leaf off there and um, pop that in. So let's start gluing. So I don't glue all of mine down. I like pieces to be a bit fluid and floaty. So Now you can pop some pads behind, but again, I do like mine flat. And then with this one, I'm just going to chop this leaf away here. Hopefully it hasn't grabbed. There we go. Then our pretty bow, which we can trim the legs if they are too long. Just shows you how much I Get engrossed in Minecraft, I didn't even realise you were all fighting there with the troll. <laughs> well done, Tim. There we go, so I've got a lovely little twine bow on there, but I, I want some more dimension on my card, so I'm going to just give it that second bow. I don't want the dimension in the flowers, because I like the pretty watercolour background coming through the back, but I do want a bit more dimension in my card, so I'm going to pop two bows on here, one on top of the other, and hopefully it'll look okay. So I still have all of those lovely elements which we can use in another design, but first let's just sort of tie it all together now. So let's put some spark on and I'm just wondering, can I just pop over to my trolley tin just one second, just to grab some potential. Let's have a look what I've got on my trolley because sometimes I do have everything, sometimes I have absolutely nothing and it's not looking helpful. No, never mind, never mind. Let's pop these sequins on. So, don't forget as well, when you pop your sequins on, I mean, I just like the clear ones because they pick up the colour behind. But I do use colour ones sometimes, as you can see from my lovely little box here. These are Claire's lovely sequins. You work in threes as well if you can. sure about that blue sentiment not sure so I am going to work in threes I'll just pop one down here and then let's just pop some on here you would get away with colored ones with this one I think We just go with those three. No, let's add some more. I'm going to add some on top of the design too.
Yeah, Claire loves, well, obviously Claire loves sequins. She creates them, so there we go. So I think I'll leave it at that one. And then just one last thing, just one last thing. Just grab my sparkle pen if it's at hand, which it is. And I'm just going to grab my sparkle pen. And I'm just going to add some sparkle to the top of my flowers, just to the flower heads. Make them sparkly. And I think we'll stop there. So that was just to show you how we can create sort of very similar cards with stamps or with dies, whatever you might have in your stash. You may have both, you may have one or the other. So hopefully, um, so ho hopefully you will have something in your stash where you can create something a little bit similar to this one. So I'll just hold these two up. So very flat cards, which is what I love, as you know. But you could absolutely do your mat and layers and your 3D foam pads and build them up if you wanted to. There we go. So I hope you've enjoyed those two. You'll have to let me know which in the end turned out to be your favourite. Uh, the silhouette style form or bouquet with pink and grey. You'll have to let me know. So a couple of things just to give you that gentle reminder for tomorrow that Claire is live at 1.30 tomorrow over on Create and Craft. Um, and she's got some lots of lovely goodies and a new sort of technique idea where you can incorporate some lovely stencils too. So have a lovely afternoon stroke evening. Put your fire on, get cosy, cup of tea, chill out and just enjoy the rest of your evening and I'll see you all on Monday here in studio. See you all later everyone, bye!